I haven't spent that much time in solitude, but I can say that other than the paupers and those who have been taken by Shia Gorath, that I like the place very much. I don't think that any other city that I have seen in Skyrim so far compares to it, and it reminds me somewhat of how High Rock is depicted in the drawings that I have seen of the Breton style over there. Yes, I think I like it more than any other I've seen in Skyrim. I haven't been to Markarth, Morthal, Dawnstar, and Windhelm, though. But I do know that after living in Winterhold as a boy that I would be concerned about that giant rock that Solitude rests on. If it were to collapse, then, well, we all know what happened to Winterhold, which used to be the capital of Skyrim, way back in the first era, I think, before the Great Collapse, which ruined it. It wouldn't be so bad if Magic and the College of Winterhold were still trusted, because that is what made the city so popular to begin with. But since the Great Collapse, where most of the city fell into the ocean, and the College of Winterhold survived untouched, most Nords have grown to see Magic as untrustworthy. I am happy to join the Imperial Legion again, and I look forward to returning to Solitude, but I really feel compelled to come back to the Rift to report on what I experienced with the Vampires to the Dawn Guard, and to return to Mercer Frey, the leader of the Thieves' Guild, to report on what I found out from Golamai. That, and I'd like to complete this long series of quests from the Grey Fox, who also happens to reside in Riften. Once done, maybe we can ride out west again, but I don't know about buying a home in Solitude. Though it would be nice, very nice. However, my actual preference would be to have a home of my own, away from the city, sort of like how it was with the old Tundra home that my aunt and uncle bought outside of Whiterun. It was far away enough to be on your own, but close enough to the city to get all that you need. We had space as boys to adventure and hunt and fish, while my uncle worked the forge to bring crafted equipment to the city to sell. It helped that he was friends with the blacksmiths there, and was able to take on work from the one that used to occupy what is now War Maidens. The old man there had died, and his shop was called something else, but it is nice to see it carry on as a smith and shop like it used to be. He had his wife sell to the customers while he worked the forge. Sadly, I don't even remember his name, but I remember him and his wife being good friends with uncle and auntie. So if I can find a place like Tunderholm, I'd settle there. I won't go back to Tunderholm though, not after what happened to Aunt Branning. I feel the place is sort of cursed, and I don't ever want to think about what we saw. Aunt Branning was my mother. Not my real mother, but she was real enough to me. So that is why I cannot go back even though I have good memories of the place before seeing her body. Dead from vampires. Uh, and even though I know they're trying to sell the place again. But perhaps with time and money I could find a spot to build of my own home. I would make it large enough to hold a family since I am the adopted father of Lucia and I would like more room to hold more people. Maybe another child I could adopt. I'd make it larger than Tundra Home at least, since there wasn't much space inside. I just have to find the perfect spot. Okay, before we get to Riften, I have two stops to make, so... I have a lot of work cut out for me over the next few days. If I could fly around like a dragon, I could do it all in one. But on horse and boat, it'll take longer to get from place to place. We've entered East March, and there is Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak resides within. There's some wolves. Wolves! How many wolves have I killed since I've come back to Skyrim? Oh, that ice wolf is still up. Tougher than your brethren. I could stop the war just by going inside there and killing Ulfric. But then I'd be a I'd be seen by half his Skyrim as a traitor and need to be put down. 
I'm not, I mean, I am the Dragonborn, but a lot still don't know who I am. I mean, they've heard about the Dragonborn, but not who I am. Tor of Jensen isn't whispered on the lips of everybody, at least not yet. Some know me. Alright, so I mean, I've never been inside Windhelm, but I've seen from a distance... Not part of the Legion yet. One day. Interesting city. It's one of the oldest cities in all of Skyrim. Alright, I didn't hear that. Alright, we are going. First to Dark Darkwater Crossing, which is right here. And then to Iverstead. No. Where is it? It's right around here. Pathway up. And then you reach the river to follow it along it, and then takes you on a path. And then you can reach Iverstead afterwards. Now, I've never... I'm sure if we went up that way with my brother years ago. But I did come down that way recently. There's just no clear marking. There's no road that says to Iverstead from that way. Otherwise, I have to go up... I don't know, I remember the road. And then all the way down here on this side, and then down this way. Take me twice as long. Okay, so mark it on my map. That's where we're going. Through the hot springs. Oh, there's mills everywhere. I don't remember this many mills back when I was a kid, but I'm seeing more Skyrim now than I ever did, so. Some of that ale <coughs> coming back on me. This road, I have been on it a long time ago. Oh, oh the uh, dragon. Dragonstone. There's a home over there. Inigo, I know that arrow protruding from the armor of my horse. Ooh, no, it's protruding from her neck. Oh, Kynes Grove. I remember this place. It's, uh... Isn't there a mine and it's also logging? Maybe there's no mine. More Nordic ruins over there. Oh, Jazz Bay grapes. I love snow. It's so snowy. Uh, it's that time of year. Got it. Oh, this is a dragon um, mount. Part of the old ruins that were everywhere. Oh, just on the road. Jasper grapes. Dragon tongue everywhere. But the road is kind of leading away from where I want to go. Hello. Giants right on the road. Didn't kill that man. That will steer around it. He's moving his mammoths. And I thought some Nords were pale. The giant is pretty much white. In the snow, it would be hard to tell them apart. That creep cluster. It's been a while since I've had that. Oh, we got a skeever. Got him. Got him. Could use his tail. Oh, those baby mammoths in the hot springs. Negotiation to be had. Got it? Bark if you understand me. <laughs> Inigo! That was just crazy what I picked up hearing you say. <laughs> You're not a pet, okay? This is not a contest between you and the dog. Oh. What happened here? 
Did the giants attack a caravan? My steed does not enjoy the smell here. Neither oh, do I. It's a Khajiit sitting there. You know what, Inigo, I really don't appreciate you hitting my horse with your arrow. Miko. How you doing, Miko? Are you alright? Huh? The giants hit your caravan. Potion doing here. I want to open the chest. You got a dead, dead Khajiit here. Hello, you want me to heal you? Uh, help me. Are you all right? What happened? Bandits. Bandits. The caravan. Wasn't the giants? Killed Sadrasa. Killed Sadrasa? Who's Sad? Uh, haven't I heard of her? Isn't she one of the caravans? How did you manage to survive? By playing dead. Oh. Lucky for me. All they wanted was the gold. That's what bandits always want. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes. Take me to Windhelm. Uh. One of the other caravans sells their wares. There. I just came Please. from there. Uh, I don't have much time. Uh, all right, follow me. Thank you, traveler. Thank you so much. Definitely more intelligent than they might see. Do you think I could heal you? There have been attempts to translate their language, but no success. What? Adventures are so gullible. Are you serious? Oi! What is wrong with you? This was a bandit. In the beginning, this was a. You tr but there's a dead Khajiit there. And a horse. <laughs> well, nice arrows you put in them. Her. Letter from Lajan. What does that say? They're pretty elaborate. You have a... I mean, I've heard of them doing... Tricking people on the road, but... With a wrecked caravan and a dead Khajiit and a horse next to you. That's pretty elaborate. It would convince anybody. Letter from Lajan. Tanita. Lajan hopes this is a joke. If so, she's not laughing. Uh, they tend to talk in the third person, so... She will not help you and your bandit friends sack the caravans, and if the paths cross, do not think she will spare you because Khajiit are friends. Lajan. <laughs> Nice try. And I was about to look around and turn my back on you too. See where the bandits might have gone. We could get warm by that big fire. Yeah. No. I see a giant two giants, a child and a daddy. There's a chest here. Wolf Queen. I'm not sure if I have this one. A sack here too. Gold, Sapphire Ring, Potion of Healing, another Wolf Queen, Volume 4. Is this another Wolf Queen, Volume 4? Why would you have three of the same? Maybe they were selling them. I'm really curious how you would set this up. Maybe she was just taking advantage of the situation? Or maybe she killed... The other Khajiit and wrecked the, the cart. I don't know. This is just really weird. I mean, how long can you lay next to a dead Khajiit and a horse? I'm a little disappointed I didn't pick that up, but... I mean, this is... Usually they have carts that are maybe some items strewn around, but dead uh, companions or dead other people in it. That's a new one for me. Ooh, this ebony battle axe. Ugh, it's heavy. Take everything. Hey, I'm gonna have to offload a few th where, where'd she go? At least she keeps out of the way of the fights, but for some reason she's always gone. There you are. What's in here? Cabbage. 
Uh, let's load you up, and then we'll be on our way to Darkwater Crossing. Perios versus Stormcloaks. I'm not officially part of the Legion yet. Looks like the Stormcloaks have won this one. I don't want to take part in it. In the future. If you know any true sons of God from Sky, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Hmm. Not likely. No, I don't think I've actually been in Darkwater Crossing. What the Weren't there vampires here before? We've got more vampires. Don't ugh. don't mind killing vampires. If you're fighting on the side of vampires, I don't care if you're actually a vampire or not. You're gonna die. More. We've been here before, and there were vampires here. Standing stone. Oh, I could use these, you know, alchemy lab. Galerian, the mystic. I could use this. <sighs> I really want to get to Darkwater Crossing, but... No, wait till I get to Riften. I'll use the mages. Not sure if I trust that one myself. This is a tent. It is a big tent, but not the kind out. This would be too heavy for me. You can literally see the animal parts. Uh, where's? I have to find that vampire. Follow me. There's the master vampire itself. Uh, I have any mage armor. Oof. Unarmored robe. Doesn't weigh very much. Take the vampire dust. Unarmored hood is worth a bit too. Dark water crossing is right over yonder. There you are. Maybe I should, I mean, always check yourself after you deal with vampires, but... I don't think I've been inside into the actual mining camp of Dark Water Crossing. Stormcloak's patrol here. Oh, I had a mammoth steak this morning. Can use a little bit more. Hmm. Time about some tomato soup. Potatoes in there. Ah. Oh. Iris the Elder. Nice to see you here. Oh, wow. Imagine waking up to this every morning. This is... Kind of amazing. Nice river where you can go fishing. Hmm. Maybe I'll do just that. Got a lot of things to sell. Alright, let's see if we can pull up. Uh, what am I after? A pogfish and a goldfish? Oh, this is a beautiful sight. Imagine opening up your door and this is the first thing you see in the morning. It's like they're camping. Uh, salmon. I love salmon. My favorite fish. Especially fried salmon with some butter.
dead fish. Oh, that's not on the list of things to get. <coughs> Pogfish and a goldfish. I don't even know where to find a goldfish. A pogfish. This is something that really a lot of people uh, went after. You can see fish out in the... That goat just went in the water. <laughs> Carp. Is that like a water goat? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the goat swims. I don't know. Come on, pogfish. Uh, River Betty. These are you find those everywhere. Be nice to be able to fish right outside your front door. I mean, there's a home right behind me. Instead, I open it up to hear the streets of White Run. Ah, another river, Betty. I'll keep fishing until I get something that's not a fish. Like an old boot. There's the goat. Came back up. Ah! A flagon. Okay. Not that I wanted a flagon, but... All right. Well, where are the people here? Uh, my journal. Uh, so I have to go to uh, Riften after we go to Averstead. That's why we have to go up there and bring... What do we have to bring? Oh, the... Um, what All that ale over there. Black, briar, mead. Mead. Uh, where is it? Okay. Deliver the satchel to Silja's father, Vernier, in Darkwater Crossing, a mining camp off the southern edge of East March Sulphur Pools. Ooh, Corundum. Actually, I think this is a Corundum mine. It's a raw Corundum, yeah. Oh, hello. Annika used to help more with the mining, but nowadays she's a bit of a bounder. Danica? I hey. do love my wife. Just wish she'd get her head out of the clouds. Danica, your wife? Um... Are you Werner? I have a package for you from Silja. It's a shame our daughter could make the journey herself, but at least she still thinks of us. Hmm. If you wouldn't mind bringing this back to her for us, oh. I'd appreciate it. So I didn't finish it. I'm just in the middle of this uh, little <laughs> delivery thing you've got going. Fine, fine, All fine. Right, Shore stone again. I mean, it's really close to White Run. Or sorry, Riften. And where is your daughter? The one I met was beautiful. The mother was probably very pretty too. Sheep, chickens. Excuse me. Let's go inside the mine. Better not to be full of spiders. That's why this home and the camp are here. I guess they... Maybe Werner and his wife own the mine? Corundum everywhere. Uh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? What can you tell me about Darkwater Crossing? Not much to it, really. We fish and keep to ourselves. Try to keep from upsetting the Empire or the Stormcloaks. And so far the wars left us alone. Hmm. Makes sense. Alright. Until next time. Dark Elf? Pretty small mine, but good for a little uh, home and camp, I guess. Hello. I try to think of it as coaxing the ore from the rock. <laughs> uh, have you been working the mines long? This mine is only a few years old, but I've been digging up ore for over a century. Wow. We're getting to the point where the tunnels are getting deep into the rock. People complain of bad coughs and foul air. Hmm. I've seen this before. We need some medicines to combat the ore dust. I was about to send a message to Windhelm for aid. Oh. I could deliver your message for you. Why to Windhelm? Thank you. Take it to Quintus in the White Farm. Oh, I've heard of him. He's a well-known alchemist in Windhelm. Quintus. Um, what can you tell me about Darkwater Crossing? Those falls. Dangerous The place. falls? 
Dangerous? Gachethus thought he could find some good fish in the pools. Haven't heard from him in a long while. Hmm. Dark Heath is an Argonian, I take it. The name sounds like it. Well, if I come across a dead Argonian, or a live one somewhere, I'll let you know. Has the war affected you? I'm lucky enough that none of my friends have been killed. Of course, we have soldiers coming through all the time. Yeah, I saw the Stormcloaks. Safe travels. Gods oh, be with you. Sorry. Am I in your way? Thank you so much for asking so politely. Hey. Are you just grumpy this morning, Lucian? Have you heard the rumors? Huh? They've got Stendar's hammer itself on display at the Dwemer Museum over in Markov. No, I haven't Why don't heard we go that. And take a look? Stendar's hammer? <laughs> uh, I'd like to train you some more. Might as well Excellent. do it here. I've been looking forward to this. What shall we work on this time? Well, lots, but uh, I've got the list I made. So, let's practice restoration magic. A very important skill. Yes, and I use it I almost add, every day. A highly valid school of magic. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. It's my favorite, actually. Then enchanting. Ooh, and alchemy. Tingles too. <laughs> well, you learned something. On we go. Inigo. You want to talk? I'm glad you're here, Inigo. Me too. Uh, you have something to say? Any thoughts? I hope this place is stable. <laughs> Don't say that. Every time I go into a mine, I always think that. Well, let's see what I can get out of this corundum. Darkethus went missing in the falls, huh? That reminds me of the story of the boy who drowned in the falls by where we lived near White Run. I'm not really getting anything out of this. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. I've mined before, but I'm not getting any usable ore out of this. Ah, oh, there we go. Got some. Just have to be patient and persistent. Oh, I found a diamond. Well, I wouldn't want to live as a miner. I really, Be really careful. would not. Your hands sore, your body ache. I think it's probably one of the hardest jobs there is. Farming is a lot easier with a good plow and a horse to pull it. Oh, wait. You're coughing. Oh, I'm going to have to go and get uh, whatever it is from Quintus to help. Hello. Are you a miner too? No, I'm just passing through. Well, I haven't seen the man's wife. Danica? Oh, we've got to get to Iverstead. The day is passing by. Alright, let's get out of here. I came here to uh, complete something in my journal, and it turns out I've got three extras after completing that first one. Let's go while we can still see. It's going to take a while to get up to uh, Iverstead. Oh, wolves. Wait, that's not a wolf. It's a dog. We've got bandits. What is wrong with you? Ah. It's nothing. Nothing, huh? That was a good one. Miko, you okay? But they have a skeever too. Lucian. Where are you? What you doing all the way over there, Lucian? Oh, no. Are you in trouble? Come on! Swim! 
Don't go over the falls. Come on. I don't, I'll get pulled into there. Oh, these aren't that bad falls. Come on. That's right, over the bridge. Of course, I thought the worst. All right, uh, let's find our way up to Iverstead. Might take a while. Run into two skeevers feasting off a hunter's corpse. You find stuff like that out in the wild. We did find the occasional dead body. Ooh, what is? I remember this tree. I don't remember this. Uh, watch out! This ruin down there. It's like something fit in those holes. Uh, falls everywhere. Maybe we'll find Turkethus around here. Ooh, what's that? More skeevers? Come on, Miko, take it down. Nice. Okay, searching for the path that will take us to Iverstead. At least it's not foggy. I hope this is the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is an actual path. Just not an easy one to navigate over. Oh, coming up into a cloud. Well, we are. It's this. Um, coming up against the largest mountain in all of Tamara. Tallest mountain. I think the largest is Red Mountain. I've already talked about that. Another skeever. Or oh, that's a fox. Hard to tell at a distance sometimes. It's the same color as the skeevers we just fought with. Ah, this is a nice path. It's not marked at all. Uh, apparently... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got down the river. The river will take us to Iverstead. We have to got to get on the other side, though. There's another battle between Stormcloaks and the Empire. It's quite a lot this time. I keep seeing these things. They're really going at it. I think the Empire needs help. Stay out of the fighting. Not our concern. Looks like the Stormcloaks are winning this one, too. Right. It's a white run banner right there. Stormcloaks have won this fight, too. Yeah, I don't want to keep watching. Too much death. Uh... Oh, Nernroot. I remember this cave. It's where the troll was. Brother against brother, sister against sister. This war is awful. I want no part of it, truth be told. But something has to be done. I've also seen firsthand what the Altmeri Dominion can do. And that will burn in my mind forever. Oh, we found it. Back to Iverstead. Spend the night here. Oops. Got their own rift and uh, the rift guards here. Rift hold. All right, uh, we came to speak to what's his face. Uh, starts with a W. Klimic. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Good to hear. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Good seeing you. May the nine be with you. Well, Wilhelm, that's his name. If there's anything I can get you, 
Just let Is it know. absolutely necessary for you oh, to follow me up. right now? Bastianus. Yes. Hello, Wilhelm. Hello, friend. Still toting that amulet to Mara, huh? With all the people that come through here, I'm surprised you haven't had to take her. I mean, you are a bit of a cat. You have your own inn. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right, uh, I have a delivery from Romlin. All right, pipe down. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want the whole blessed place to hear you? What's wrong with me? The arrangement called for a trade. I hope you'll find this suitable. He's a bit weird, though. He doesn't look me right in the eyes. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh, there he is, looking at me. Yes. Maybe I just intimidate him. Let me know. If there's anything else you need. You don't have an alchemy lab here, do you? Come, come, I haven't got all no. day. Oh, oh, hey, uh... Good to see you again. How are you? I have to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do Something once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum talk like any skill? Mm-hmm, it can be. Uh, let's hear a song. Right away, my lord. Anything you can do. I think this should just play the f lute. Yeah. Oh, Miko, you okay? Just making sure. I should tip more. Thank you. Fifty gold. The road takes you many places, but sometimes it's best to pave your own. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm tired. Been a long day. Let's get some sleep, and then we're, we'll be on our way in the morning to Riften. Just the way we are. Never allow anyone to treat you as incapable. There is a place in the world for each of us, and we are all beautiful just the way we are. If anything pleases the eye, don't hesitate to make me an offer. Okay, Medesi. If you have any jewelry to sell, I'd be glad to pay you a fair sum in gold for it. I have your flawless sapphires. Good. These will make wonderful settings for my rings. You need anything else? No, I think I have enough here to get started. Here, let me give you this. It's the least I can do for all your trouble. Ooh, gold diamond necklace. One of the best. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's see what you have for sale. Everything I've got on display, really. So I have been um, chanting and oh, I've got so much to sell. Uh, out making potions, the alchemy lab. Got lots to sell. I also trained with Balimund, the smith. Okay, so let's go through this to see what I can uh, sell. I'm going to have to go to every every merchant here to sell what I have and I still don't think there'll be a, enough gold amongst you all. What did it say? Uh, my distracting Argonian. Alright, Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. Wrote that down. Uh, must now return to Riften so I can hand it and the deed over at the Grave of the Grey Fox. Already picked all the flowers here clean. Oh, look at this grave. There's a journal here. The curse of the Grey Cowl is said to strip you of your identity, wiping you from all recorded history. Huh? How is that even possible? That's a curse, as I'd say. Would no one know who you are then? But the curse was broken long ago. Ah, it was broken. The truth is, it wasn't Nocturno that robbed me of my life. It was my selfishness. I wore the cowl out of pure greed. and left my family because I loved only myself. Then my sister passed, leaving her son an orphan. The last of the ice blades. Heir to a fortune and easy prey for the wolves. Hmm. This explains what happened then. An old tribe that no longer really exists. With the boy in danger, it's time I took responsibility as head of this clan. But if I'm to be his father, I have to stop being a stranger. I must pass the cowl on to another, and in doing so, 
The Grey Fox must die. Hmm. You are the last of the Grey Fox, son. Until then, I come to this grave every night, bringing flowers to ask my sister for forgiveness. Oh, it's the grave You've of the sister. Well. You're the Grey Fox? Oh. Well, you're watching the grave. Hmm. Honor to meet you, sir. My joy knows no bounds. Here. A little payment for your trouble. That's the famed Cow of Nocturnal. We'll never need to speak of this again to anyone. All right. Well, hope you take care of your nephew and be a father yes. to him, like you said you would. Grey Cow of Nocturnal. Hmm. Supposed to help with uh, committing crimes. I'll have to try it next time I sneak around. If it's no longer cursed, it's not a big deal. I can wear it whenever. Hmm? Alright, let's go down. I need to go meet Mercer. Tell him what happened with Gullamai and the information I received from them. Him. About Carlia. My brother in hey, room. What do you need? Nothing. You in some marksman training. What did you need? Hey, Brynjolf. What can you tell me about the East Empire Company? A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. I kind of know that. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. Yeah, I'd say. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. Well, I didn't. I was next we made it in and out to their clean. All right, Mercer. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? He did. He said uh, Golden Glow was purchased by a Carlia. No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. What's wrong? Gullamai also said she was a murderer. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. Why is she still alive? After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Oh, she's that good, huh? So why is she returned now? Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills... If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. No one knows knew where she was. No one knows what she looks like. Well, go on my might. I don't know if he used somebody else or they just communicated through notes like I did with the last gray fox. Gullamite told me she said where the end began. That's where you can find her. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. Snowvale Sanctum? We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Are you coming? Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. I can definitely see Prepare why. yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Uh, I've got to go speak to the Dawnguard. Where is this ruin? You said north of Windham? Did you say Snowvale Sanctum? Okay. It's quite a ways. Eh. Well, maybe after I go speak to, uh... Sorry, what was his name? Isran? The Dongard? Do. We'll speak another time. Oh, okay. Alright, well, let's get going, because I've got to go meet with Isran. Um... you in some marksman training no I've already had enough training yeah, for now you thank you something? okay to the east to the sure, dawn guard castle shore stone is really close there's no more bandits have come back I just saw one there are bandits here let's clear ourselves out some bandits protect yourself Steve shore stone is close I don't see you Oh, 
Oop, missed that one. Ah, somebody keep pelting me with arrows. I'm trying to get more experience with my bow. I see you. Got them. Another one here. Ah, getting hit with a lot of arrows. <laughs> Missed that one clear. Quick silver ingot. Glass arrow is from me. And Nord meat. Is there another one out here? That's my horse. Wine. Maybe he's up top. There you are, bandit. Ah, you hit the cooking spit. Ah, got you in the face. Stop drinking potions. Oh, that's it. Take that. And that. And that. Another one in the head. Ah. Come on. This is actually the stupidest fight I've ever had, but... <laughs> Got him in the head twice. <laughs> Plentiful healing. Uh, I need an ale after that one. Alright, what you cooking? Nothing. Thinking about funny spiders indigo. again and again? Uh, spiders. Spluttering, squishy, squashy spiders. Stop talking about spiders. Last time you did, That's spiders right came. Through your mind rather often, isn't it? Splattering, squishy, squashy spiders. Splattering, squishy, squashy spiders. Oh dear. Spiders, squishy, squashy Gods, squishy, squashy Gods spiders. no. I told you not to talk about the spiders. Impervious, impervious. You keep singing about it. A giant one as big as a dragon's gonna come. I agree, Ooh. they do. This armor. Glass armor. It doesn't even look elven. Hmm. An ebony sword. This one had a lot of good equipment on it. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I already have weapons better than ebony or as good. Glass armor, though. I. That's about as good as you can get for light armor, though. Why would I say no to it? It's not even that heavy. And a glass helm, too. I'll take it all, you know what? And I will put it... I'm all for you guys getting along, but... Don't talk about the spiders. The robes are worth a lot, too. Enchanted. Nothing on them. All right, let's go. Oh, my horse is on the other side. There she is. All right, we were on the way to Shore Stone because, well, it's so close to Riften, and we're facing that way anyways. Let's put that armor in here. Oops. There. Now, I could improve it and enchant it anytime I want. Brace yourself, Steve. To the north. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fight with him again. Not for a while. Where is Silja? Is she in the mine? I'll 
Lots of guards right here. They really want this mine to keep going. Oh, there she is. Ooh. An ebony arrow. They just left it here. Maybe they thought it was good luck. Keep the spiders away. And now I've taken it away from them. Uh, Silja. I trust my parents are well. Yes. Well, I didn't see your mom, but I met your dad. He didn't say anything bad about your mom. I'm back from Dark Water Crossing. Ah, uh, yes. Seems he sent back my satchel stuffed with letters. I look forward to reading them. I appreciate the delivery. Here, I want you to have this. I insist. Ooh, silver sapphire necklace. All right, thank you. Good talking to you. Talking to you. I can use all these. Well, that necklace I got from, uh, what was the Argonian? I forget his name. In Riften. That gold diamond necklace is about as good as you can get for raw jewelry. So if I can enchant that with something for myself. So I'll hold on to gold diamond ring, gold diamond necklace. I thought I had a gold diamond ring. No, just a necklace. If I had one, I would save it and put my best enchantment on it. With my best uh, soul gem. Okay, so now let's go to Dawnstar Castle. That's better not to be another trick. I feel safe when you are around. It is nice to know that someone capable has my back. You okay? I use a healing potion or er, spell. That's me, that's for you. You okay? Please take this for your efforts. Oh, thank you. Didn't even need to do that. Let's ride. Close to the entrance to go into Dawnstar. <laughs> Dawn Guard. Stop naming everything with Dawn in it. Mama and its cubs. Stay away. The Dawn Guard Castle. Uh, marked on my map. I think we're going the wrong way. Oh, the Blackbriar Lodge is... Uh, this is where it gets a little tricky. Based on the map. I think there's this path through here. Don't want to go back to the Blackbriar Lodge. We left that place pretty... Uh, plundered. <laughs> it's almost like I'm trying to undermine Maven. But I'm not. Just go where opportunity takes me. And I uh, hear some Nurn root. There it is. The gourds. Oh, look at this little place. Some ore there. Looks like corundum to me. Is that the, is the dead Khajiit over there? What if he has, like, a treasure map on him? Huh? Sorry you died, Khajiit, but no treasure map. At least your gold won't go to waste. Uh, I don't really need any more corundum. Waterfalls everywhere in the rift. That's right. How does it feel up there? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me, Inigo. Entrance should be right coming up. Ugh, stupid wolf. Don't you learn? Alright. Stupid thing. The dead wolf. Could have been from the last time I was here. Okay. It's got to be an easier way. I guess going into. Is it in Morrowind, or is it just in the mountains in the eastern part of uh, Skyrim? Is 
snow berries. All right, let's. Uh, Nord meat. As I said, there's waterfalls everywhere in the rift. Well, that's the mountain, too. Right? The giant mountain dominates everything. I don't know if I can even see it. There's just so many mountains in the way. More dead wolves. Oh, these little mountains here are blocking the way. Dawnstar Castle. Said it again. Dawn Guard! Dawn Guard! Actually, I kind of wish that Dawn was stricken from the the Nord lexicon. What is. Oh, do I still have this? I didn't give it away. Dawn Fang, that's my sword. Who has the. Did I give it to you? No, he has Ebony. Same with him. What happened to the sword? I know I didn't sell it. Unless it was stolen from me. The one I got from Meridia was Dawn something too. Wouldn't that be funny if I had given... I know I didn't, but... If I had given it to... Uh, uh, what was her name? The vampire girl that I was with. The pretty one. If I had given it to her, considering she's undead and it kills undead, the sword. Oh, where's the orc? Need something? Hello, who are you? Got to thinking. Maybe no, no, I'm no, the no, dragonborn, no, no. and I just don't know it yet. You would know it. Uh, wait. How did I know it? I don't I know. I think because I what absorbed the soul the of the dragon. Do once he's summoned by the Greybeards. You go and, and you learn how to do shouts. The Thum, yes. Where's the entrance? Hmm? What's going on? Vampires! The vampires came here and attacked you? Hey, Isran. What do you have around you? I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I like this defenses. I well, I don't know what it is. Some good news for me. Uh, I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. Well, this spell you have going. I'd like to know what it is. The vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. Her name was Serana, that's right. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? Uh, <laughs> She wanted to go home, so I took her to her castle. I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. They also have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll. Uh, yes, I took her to her castle. Her va father is a vampire lord, and she was a vampire. Uh, I'm lucky I made it out alive. Right. So they have this woman and an elder scroll by the divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Hmm. Oh, we have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but... There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Oh, you want me to go hunting for recruits? Where can I find the people we need? Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. 
Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. I should help us. Might need a little convincing. But she should. What You'll was her name? you also want to find Gunmar. Gunmar. Big root of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Sounds like me. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Oh, well, that's odd. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Taming trolls. Them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Uh, Soren, Gerard, and Gunmar. Okay. So, any advice for a new vampire hunter? There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. Hmm. And good people will die because of you. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, you'll do the same. Hmm. What do you have against the Vigilance? Isn't it obvious? They're soft. The lot of them. Totally unprepared for any real threat. Well, I don't know them like you Yet do. Yet I was the one ridiculed for trying to be ready for anything. Too extreme, they called me. Well, that doesn't seem to have worked out in their favor now, has it? Oh, vampires are a real threat. So where did the Dawn Guard come from? Vampires need to be dealt with. Hunted. Rooted out. Destroyed. Once there was a group dedicated to a similar cause. They called themselves the Dawn Guard. That was a long time ago. But the idea was and is a good one. That's Ooh, why I'm excuse me. back. This latest attack proves it's the right time. Hmm. You might need more than just the handful of people I've seen. So, tell me, what is the Dawn Guard? We hunt down and kill vampires. Haven't you been paying attention? I know this. In the old days, the Dawn Guard kept all of Skyrim safe from those blood-sucking scum. Then all people of Skyrim. started taking the threat seriously. The Dawn Guard was disbanded, and the vampires came creeping back. Now I'm trying to re-establish the Dawn Guard. Take the fight to the vampires for a change. I hope it isn't too late. Hmm. I hope not too. So, what can you tell me about Dawn Guard Castle? This is Fort Dawnguard. Fort Dawnguard. Originally Guard. owned by the Jarl of Riften back in the Second Era. Oh. It was a bit of a black mark on the it whole system. It is old, I'm trying to put it to good use. Oh, from the Second Era. Okay, so it's... Could be a thousand years old. All right, Yisran. Eyes open. Always. Vampire dust. Pretty brazen of them to attack. Fort Dawnguard, Vampire Dust. So the castle could... Let's see. It's at least 600 years, if not... Uh, could be the Serena's age. Gold. Ruby. Vampire Dust. But it could also be a thousand years old. I don't think I've ever seen... Well, there's a lot of mixed... Uh, what do you call them? Red guards, but he's got blue eyes. Pretty unique, actually. I've seen some pretty red guards. Women. Over the years. Alright. And Gunmar. And maybe we can do something about this mess. Hello? Good evening. Divines guide you. Uh, I remember you. What do you want? What do I want? May your blades stay sharp. Oh, you got to... I don't know if she's new. Maybe I just didn't see her before, but I don't remember her. This would seem to... Well, there's that new recruit. If he's still alive. Find Serene and Gunmar. And maybe... Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have escorted Serana back home. Not a good idea. Vampires! It's not night out. Magnus is still up, but it's... Maybe it's a time of day. Because it's on the frost damage from my sword. 
Hey, are you that new recruit that came when I started here? Something. Yeah, you are. So why did you join the Dawnguard? I've heard the rumors around Skyrim. I know something's going on, and I've seen the vampires. I felt I had two choices. I could either live in fear of the night, or I could do something to help protect my people. Hmm. Until next time. Sorry. The dragons, the civil war, and the Dawnguard... Or sorry, the Dawnguard. The vampires. There's lots going on here in Skyrim. Not the greatest time to be here, is it? Well, it's kept in remarkably well condition for a thousand or at least six hundred years old. But I noticed with the cobwebs here, it definitely was, like I thought it was new. Good construction. Maybe they used magic in its creation to last this long. It looks as good on the outside as it does on the inside. And I haven't seen any parts that are falling apart. There's just, just some dirty areas like cobweb filled. Needs a good cleaning. Uh, salmon. Alright, well, I suppose we should go to sleep. And, um, now that I've talked to Isram, well, you know. He said it was urgent that we uh, deal with Carlia. What if I run back to Riften? Take the carriage north to Windhelm. And then from there we'll go north to Snowvale Sanctum. Sounds like a good idea. Hmm. Health. I know I have that st stamina necklace. It's given me a lot of stamina. All right, so I've been working a lot. I'm going the wrong way. Working a lot on my. Where is it? I must have passed it. Chanting. Working a lot on it. More magicka per soul gem. We've returned to Windhelm. Let us go north now. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. I'm a little concerned about uh, Fort Donstar. I was gonna say it, Dongard. Donstar. <laughs> it's Dongard. Um, I'm a little concerned about that. So I think after this, we're going to try and uh, recruit those people for the Dawn Guard. Now, Mercer Frey is waiting for us outside Snowvale Sanctum north of Windhelm. And I actually think that I'm going to look for that ghost again because one of the people to recruit is just west of Dragonbridge out here. So that is along a path that I've previously taken. And it was the ghost. Where was he? He was around here, this area. I have to look for him again. He was along the road. But for now, we're going to go meet with Mercer Frey. No, there is also that, uh... Oh, Cicelum of Boethia. Hmm. I was curious to go see if they're even still doing that. I mean, as far as I know, all I th can think of is death and murder. That's what uh, Boethia seems to be about. I know she's not the goddess of murder. It's more of a Mephala thing. Maybe I'll look at it after we come back. Ugh. How'd you get over there? I think we have to go through Windhelm. I've never been... I don't think I've ever been this far north. But west to Angus Mill, it looks like there's maybe a path that goes straight there. I can't see there being anything... Unless we want to cross it like we did by uh, Solitude. Farms all over the place here. Well, we can cross over here. There's horkers across the water. Hopefully my horse will be able to do it. But this is less, just easier. Alright. Without going onto the ice. Let's just go right into the icy cold water. Oh, I'm feeling the chill. It is colder here than around Solitude. Horkers. 
Haven't seen them since. I thought I saw some north of Solitude, or west of Solitude, but... I come kind of come from a place much colder than this. There's a saber cat over there. Uh, even further north, Winterholt. Alright, so it's not that far from here. Let's go north. Try to avoid anything that will slow us down. Maybe I can go and investigate the Boethia thing, and then we go west... about recruiting that man. Old Nordic ruins again, huh? What do you have to say about all these ruins there, uh, Lucian? Why don't you have a horse yet, by the way? Frost Wolf! Ice Wolf. Same thing. the north. Into the real cold. Well, we haven't found the ice. The ice flows yet. That's even further north. Whoa. Oh, well, here's the northern coast. Is that somebody standing over there? Hey, Lucian. This way. Oh, it's Mercer. We're here already. She thought we had a ways to go. Sometimes I uh, come across places way faster than I would have thought. Good. Hello. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You think she's still in there? You saw her? No, I found her horse. Horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. You killed the Let's horse? Get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. You didn't have to kill her horse, you know. Um, okay. Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Hmm. Okay, uh, tell me about Carlia. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Dunmer? Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. Were they... so they had a relationship? If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. He was. Why did she kill him? Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. Hmm. So tell me how Gallus... how did he die? Twenty-five years ago I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Oh. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Hmm. So, Carlia took on both of you alone? Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. Hmm. Well, almost sounds like how I fell off my horse and my head someone's back. But, uh, it wasn't poisoned. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. What happened after Gallus died? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus's former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men, and the Ratway became a bloodbath. Huh. Wow. Can't imagine it. 
Maybe it was this was the start of the downfall of the Thieves Guild? And you were part of this? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. Hmm. And what of Carlia? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septums and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Hmm. Well, we're right next to Morrowind. Maybe she just went to her ancestral home. Um, isn't murder Dark Brotherhood territory? I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. You do? If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. Oh. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. I see. Oh, that's an interesting arrangement. You see, Carlia, don't hesitate. Kill her. So you actually just, uh, well, it's been admitted before. The Dark Brotherhood supposedly is real. I just heard rumors over the years. Also the rumor that uh, it was destroyed in Cyrodiil. Hmm. It has been years since I've seen out into the North Ocean. Hmm. All right, so we're going into this dragon mount. This is not a dragon. Yes, it is. This is a dragon mount. Uh, how do you get in there? I guess that isn't the doorway. Well, you said drop the corpse in. Okay. Let's follow him and then. All of us. It's getting a little cramped. You need to unlock this. These ancient Nordic or. Snowberries. Are we looking for the key? Quite simple, Lee. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. And I don't know how. That should do it. Really? You got it? You. Ah. What is that noise? A ghost. Hardly a challenge. Okay, I guess my companions will wait outside, since we have to be stealthy. But I sure could use something. Uh, caught some fish outside of Fort Dawnguard. I don't want to shout to give me away. You said to keep it quiet. Okay, well, you guys did come in. Thought you were being respectful and waiting out. A couple of you at the least would be nice. Alright, so we don't want her to know that we're here. chain is on the inside. Maybe I can open it up somehow. Dead Draugr. Take some of its bone. There's a chain out here. A chest? It's trapped. Take the nine gold. What does this do? Just what I wanted it to do. But considering there's a chain on the inside, maybe it closes and there's a trap? I don't know. There's nothing on the floor. Extreme healing. Coin purse. Seven gold. What does this do then? 
Okay, that is strange. <laughs> Doesn't really do anything. I don't see any way of getting in there. Draugr, but these ones look dead. Hold the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of this better. What? I was listening. What happened? Pull the chain over there and reset. Oh, I see. One of those doors. <laughs> Ebony dagger. This one is not dead. Quiet. All right, you said something about pulling the chain, but the door will close. Uh, everybody, back up. What did you think some of these pots in the front of it would s disguise it? Well, maybe to people who don't know about that particular trap, but I've encountered it quite a few times. We've got a live one here. Who's there? Oh, well, that door. She'll know we're here now. Got it. Shh. Give us away. I'm not the one doing that. I would have woken up as soon as we walked in front of it. Ah! Same with this one. So I used up... I think I used up all of my common soul gems, but I think I fill, I'm filling these up with these things. It's fine. It's good for practice. Good for recharging a weapon, too. Uh, speaking of that, I haven't really had to do this very much. I still don't really have to do it. Keep a lesser, just in case, but I'll wait for a while. It's got a lot of charge left in it. Trap. Another trap. What? Oh, I didn't even see that one. Hey, hey, hey. You hear that? Didn't stand a chance. Let's keep moving. But if we pass by another area, just hold on. That's probably the way I would think, but what about here? Average lock. Ah. Ah, potions. Plentiful healing, plentiful stamina, ultimate magicka. That's it. Okay. Well, there is something else I heard it's scuffling down here. It'd be nice if I could backstab a Draugr, bring it down. Let's see if I can do that. I hear it breathing. Whatever they do. To the right. Ah, well, I can't backstab it from the front. Uh, I'd rather get to soul first. Ah! 
Ay. Got it. Sorry, Mercer, if I uh, accidentally hit you. Okay. Alright. Everybody's shouting, so. I want the soul of this one. Ooh, it's a powerful one. Please be a grand soul gem. Got it. Whew. A lot of my strength in this, taking this one down. A glass bow? That's actually not a bad uh, weapon. There's two more of them ahead. Two more what? This one's been tripped. Okay. If I can't... Yeah. Got it! Another one's coming. Ah. Looks like that's the last of them. You got it. Really? Great deadly pair. Chant that. All right. A chain to pull. Right here. I actually enjoy going through these old Nordic ruins. Draugr can be a nice challenge. Uh, I don't know which is the side door or perhaps this one. I think this was the sideway, side, side door, sideway, side entrance, whatever you want to say. It's not the main way to get to where we're going to go. There's more Draugr. Well, there's also dead Draugr down there, and I assume that this Carlia did that. Yes, yeah, really was. There wasn't much in here. A flute. Or something. Who's there? Ooh, these ones shout too. Ooh. Ah. Okay, I got better use healing potions. Got a lot to cure disease, ten of them. Extreme healing? How about let's get rid of the little ones? Minor healing. Fortify health. Oops. Sorry. Mercer, don't be a fool. She's going to hear us coming. She'll know we're coming. Ugh. We're making way too much noise. It's not like um, sneaking into a place to rob it. Three thieves. Okay, well, I'll take that. Nice potions. One of each, just all laid out for us. Carlia lies ahead somewhere. 
There's also some more Draugr in this room. Ooh. They seem to be kind of aware of our presence, so... Don't move. I said don't move. There. Got him. Got him. Oh, where'd the astronaut come from? Not from me. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh. Uh, extreme healing. Minor healing. Not full healing. Kill it! Yes! Ooh, this is a skeever. One of them shooting arrows. Ah, yes. Oh, ah, almost made it. Ah. All right. Well. That the best you can do. It's got to be a way I can get across there. Gotcha. Nothing. If you don't succeed the first time, try again. What is this? A model ship? Is there no other way down there? What about the other way? its tail. Vigorous healing potion. What's this? Uh, some kind of ancient headdress? I could use some mead. Um, Blackbriar mead. Nothing here. Amethyst. I don't know if this is the way we're supposed to go. Female Draugr. I'm not sure if that leads out or what. I didn't get that ship though. Probably have to come back, but this is the way, I would think. Over here. All right. Well, I'm gonna burn all that off. And I get my arrow back. Oh, is the ship gone? <laughs> The ship is gone. Did 
Did it burn up or did it just get blown off? Maybe I should have taken the ship first before doing that. Hey. Oh well. I could have put it at home on display. But now it's gone. Note to self, grab loot when you can. Alright, so this is the way to go. Maybe she won't hear us coming if it's in a different section. I don't know. We've been pretty loud. Pretty loud. Okay. Nordic barnacle clusters. We are surrounded by... by them. I might have to get a better heal. This one has been good for a while, but it's not uh, anywhere like it used to be. Alright. Keep going ahead. It's quite an extensive place. Another one of these. Yeah. I can do that too. More magicka. <coughs> oh, there's another one. <sighs> I need this for my enchanting practice. Well. Drugger, open this up. Maybe it was trapped uh, with a noise trap. As it was surrounded by this thing with these rattling bones. Like this. Oh, really? There's little time for talk. What do you want? Uh, uh, an average lock on this. Let's open it up. Amethyst, not gold. Not very much. Two gold on this one. I see it. A good chance she knows we're here. Oh. Sorry. There you go. It's opened. We're on the right track. She's been through here as well. I hope we're on the right track. Here. Ah. What was that? Your feeble attempt to hide. <laughs> Where'd the arrow go? Let's keep moving. Oh. 
Oh, is this... It's not one of those doors to open, is it? No, I don't see anything there. Feels like an ambush, huh? Be ready. Maybe I should take some potions. Do I hear... A word wall? Sounds like it. Well, what potions can I take? Regenerate health. Regenerate magicka. I don't have one of res regenerate stamina. What about this sleeping tree sap? Hmm. Strass Makai Ram is supposed to deliver that. Ooh, is one of these poisoned? I probably made it. <laughs> well, they know we're here. Now, unless she's aligned with the Draugr. Oh, they're on patrol. I think we should take these ones out first. I hear a word well clearly now. Right in the butt! I'm out of the way, Miko. You're right in the way. Miko, you need to move out of the way. This is why... We can't have too many people with us. It's a word wall right here. There's a chest up there. Alright. What word do you have to give me? Weapon disarm? Well, I don't have any dragon souls. Can't use it, but... Obviously I'll be saving... Memorizing it and saving it for the future. Two fifty gold... Ring of Stamina. Trolls Bane Heavy Helmet. Make sure I'm wearing the right equipment here. Yes. Wearing everything I'm supposed to. These are just very tough enemies. Especially when there's a lot of them. Oh. Well, I don't know how we're going to get through this, Mercer. Watch out for traps. Nordic puzzle. Doors. Yes. You know about How it, huh? Quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Normally. Since I'm certain Carlia already did away with it. We're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Really? Quite simple, really. Carlia is close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. What? How? He, he didn't explain how to get through them without having the claw. Ooh, it suddenly got cold. What? What is going on? Ah! Ah! Do 
you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. She's invisible. I can't move. I'm paralyzed. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. Why would you want to be rid of me? You know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Ah! I died. Easy. Easy. What? Don't get up so quickly. My How are you companion feeling? is here. What? Hey, Inigo, catch well up. done. You shot me. Whatever it is no. You're doing. I saved your life. Huh? My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What? Well, I thought I was dead. Why Why save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. Why didn't you? But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. Uh, you should have shot Mercer instead. I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why capture Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. He murdered Gallus? Well, how will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what did it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Perhaps it could be translated. Enther. Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. The only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. Hmm. There's that word again, Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. <sighs> well, if I'm not dead, I guess I can't go back and... Back to the Thieves' Guild. Can't you come with me to Winterhold? I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make. And Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. Why didn't you kill Mercer? Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, 
and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Hmm. Might not have a choice next time. I can promise you if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I, never I won't Mercer. hesitate. He didn't have to kill Karolaya's horse. He would have just scared it off. <sighs> so tell me about Gallus. He was a scholar, a master thief and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. You were his lover? It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales and honed my skills to a razor sharp point. Everything you're doing you? I owe everything to him. How are you we were very close. Sorry, yes. You were lovers. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Hmm. All right, Carla. Well, turns out Mercer was the bad one this whole time. Thank you for doing what you did for me, though. Remember, speak only to Anther. Trust no one else. <sighs> Anther? Anther. College of Winterhold, huh? They might not, not let me in unless I... Uh, whatchamacallit, inducted into the college, I enter into it. I thought I was dead. I could use a bath. And what happened to you? You were there. So was Miko. Most decent people are warm in their beds yes. right now. There isn't much time. What is it? Much time. There's got to be much time because uh, I have to get into the College of Winterhold. Here you go. Yes, my friend. What's next? I feel really weird. Is that Winterhold right there? I think it could be. That's the college, isn't it? Yes, right here. I can see it. I'd like to go to sleep. I don't think I want to sleep here, though. I assume Mercer's left, but... Let's go. I guess that's it for the Thieves' Guild until Mercer's taken care of. But it almost doesn't make sense. Why would he want me killed? I've done nothing to him. I've followed his every order. Oh. And he took out your horse. <sighs> Anyways, we'll see each other again, Carlyle. May the Nine be with you. I guess I won't be going back to Riften for a while. Hmm. Well, I'm going to focus, as I th said, on uh, getting those two recruits. So one is in a cave just north of Iverstead. The other is west of uh, Dragonbridge. In the Reach? I've never been there. Never set foot in the Reach before. I've come close. But I haven't been there. Rocky, hilly area. Not really good for farming, better for mining. Anyways, uh... Let's make camp around Winter... Uh, sorry, not Winterhold. Uh, Windhelm. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Health. And just what I've been working on. Lock picking. Those adept locks will be easy for me now. Ah! 
Why'd you use fire magic on the tent for? A goat came in and was being aggressive. Now I have no tent. Lucian. The air is pure and clean. <sighs> I don't even know how I'm going to make another one. I've got a lot of leather. But... He kind of ruined a good tent that I had created. Lucian. I know it was you because you're the only ones that uh, uses fire. Okay, let's ride. We either stay at an inn or we freeze to death wandering. <coughs> Until I can make another tent. Okay, uh, food. Not cooked. Some mammoth steak. Uh, black briar meat, mammoth steak. Mm. I need to bathe myself, so. I'm not sure where I'm going to do that. Ugh. Was going to be a nice morning. Until this happened. Alright. I'm going to go bathe here in the snow, like a Nord would. Filthy. Zora, you getting a peek? I'm na not naked, anyways. My muscles are returning. Bit by bit. I'm not the skinny Nord I used to be. I'm still thin, but... Not quite where I used to be, but getting there. Let's put it all on. Ready to go. Ready to go without a tent. That was kind of like my home, you know? Away from Bree's home and White Room. So, where are we going? Should be close. Uh, I've never been over here, so maybe if we follow along the side of the mountain? You're very silly sometimes, Inigo. Okay, we got the path here. Ooh. What do we have here? Uh. What is this? Bandits! Ah. Did you set this place on fire again, Lucien? Well, normally that's not a problem, but... It is when it's my tent. What is this? What is this? Crimson Dirks? Volume 5? I have no idea what that is. Ring of Master? Oh, wow. Interesting ring. A lot of bad stuff to drive a person to banditry. Hmm. Are you? Vardenfell glass armor. Huh. You know what? I'll take it. Sorry for them. They made the choice to do this. Bone arrows. Irwin's journal. Ledward, what is all this? Lightning arrow. I didn't start the fight, we just came near the home and they came out attacking us.
kind of place is this? It's locked. Well, I guess I have something to read now. Minor healing. A treasure map. Huh. Alright, I've got things to look at here. <sighs> Irwin's journal. Uh, my new friend Gunther and... I can't read that. Not that big. My new friend Gunther and I are getting along quite well. The other bandits are... <laughs> it's funny to hear this. Bandit. From a bandit. The other bandits are already getting jealous. He really was a fi He really was a fine gift? I should thank my brother Edward before I slit his throat. The thing I like best about my good friend Gunther? He can keep a secret. I tell him all sorts of juicy tidbits and he never says a thing. It reminds me of my old companion, Skjol, and the time we nearly got murdered by a Daedric cult. There was a ton of good loot in that place. Haunted artifacts, blood sacrifices, things that make lesser men want to hug their priest. Nothing that would frighten off Gunther, though. He's quite stoic, sitting in his chair. On top of that, he gets along with everyone. It doesn't matter if they're short people, fat people, tall people, or cat people. That's the thing about my old friend Gunther, he doesn't judge. Anyways, when I got to Skyrim, I sold most of the loot we piled up over the years, seeing as wanted men have to travel light. The heaviest piece I sold was a set of Daedric mail to a caravan Khajiit named Madran. I liked that armor, but in the end I had no choice but to get rid of her. She knows what she did. Hmm, this is a weird person. Besides, if I wanted to get her back, I always referring to the armor as a person. She knows what she did, huh? <laughs> uh, another person has lost his mind. Besides, if I want to get her back, I could always trade something of equal value, like the ring of Master I ripped off the merchant at Crescent Moon's Inn way back when. Me and the Furballs, we have history. That's the ring I've I looted. The ring is worth at least two sets of armor or 20 pairs of boots. It can fortify our illusion magic, just like the books say. The books get a lot right, even the parts about me. Except I'm much prettier and taller in real life. Either way, I don't need to cast spells to run this crew, new crew, so I'll let my best friend Gunther wear the ring. I think it looks really good on him. Was that the... This is Gunther. So he's dead. Knapsack is empty. That was your journal, wasn't it? You run the crew. Um, there was another thing I picked up. I don't know where it went. Hmm. What's Saunders' note? Quintus, we have need of more medicines. The ore is getting harder to reach, and the further we dig, the more people complain of pains in the lungs and coughing. Saunders Drenum. Well, that's the Dark Elf from Darkwater Crossing. Uh, City of Stone, is that not Markarth? Oh, the Crimson Dirks, Volume 5. Book 5. Uh. Oh. Well, maybe I'll read it one, one day. Alright, enough of this place. We have a shrine to go see if there's still cultists there. That's right. On your horse, Zora. That's uh, one of those ice trolls. Miko. Up ahead. What is with that building? Why is it tilted? There's two ice trolls. Anyways, we're trying to find our way up. Maybe we can go north here. Fox and a rabbit. Oh. Well, see... It'd be nice if there was a road. This kind of looks like a path. Yes, people have been using it. Somebody killed the bear over there. Must you push like that? Oh, I stroll. I didn't see it till I was almost on top of it. Ah. 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 
Ah. It was morning? What? Maybe it's midday now, but... What happened to... Magnus? This has got to lead to it. Is this it? No. The Sasalum of Boethia? What an odd place. Well, they're here killing each other for Boethia's favor. So is this some kind of cult? We are forged by Boethia's example. We carve our will upon the world through our tongues and our blade. You, you are nothing. An empty vapor dispersed by the slightest breeze. Hmm. Not afraid of you. Good. Perhaps I've misjudged. Hmm. So, tell me about Boethia. Who is Boethia? The Lord of Plots, I know. Deceiver of Nations, Daedric Prince. Devourer of Trinema, the Queen of Shadows, win. Goddess of Destruction, He who destroys, and she who erases. Many are our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for naught. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves, whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives are full of deeds. Hmm. My heart is full of purpose and my life is full of deeds. If you desire a glimpse of our dark mistress, then this is what you must do. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the Pillar of Sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, rendering him helpless. Then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply, so that the waters of his heart wash over him. Oh. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before him. <laughs> I'll do nothing of the sort. Then you are weak and inconsequential. Let's see who's weak. I'm here to kill some cultists, it turns out. You're the sacrifice. No more cultists. Oh, really, huh? You expect to kill me? I am the Dragonborn. Who are you? Why is my vision so off? 
Though we live in shadow, we carve indelible signs of our passing into the world. Where is the indigo, by the way? Blade of Sacrifice. I can barely see. Oh. Ah. Are you who I'm supposed to sacrifice? To yourself against me. A well placed Let's word go. or a well placed dagger. Both can achieve equal purposes. Do you wish to no, test no, no. against me? Of course I'd wish to test myself. You cultists need to die. Enough of you. you nonsense. I don't know what's going on with my vision. It's not right. Maybe it's the Daedric Prince interfering with me. Oh. Oh, is this what I'm supposed to touch or get them to touch? I will not use this. I will not sacrifice someone to a Daedric Prince. I'll take this poison, though. You can stay in oblivion, you foul thing. I have nothing to do with you. I was hoping there'd be cultists here that I can come and kill. In fact, you can have your dagger back. Don't want it or anything to do with you. However, where is the cultist that was leaving this place? Hmm. Light armor, huh? I don't want to wear anything from Boethia. Nor do I want anyone in my group wearing it either. But I will take it and sell it. It's worth quite a bit. All of it. To live in you with you all. Alright, well, we did a good deed here. I'll have nothing to do with Boethia. Mount your horses. We have to go back to Iverstead. Right, we took a carriage to Iverstead. Seem to keep coming back to this place. Oh, and this is what I need. Um, perfect. Come here, princess. I hope you and Klimek are uh, Hello, friend. going to be happy. Okay, perfect. Now I need to get all the leather off of her. I don't know if I have enough. I don't think there's anyone in town that would sell such a thing. There's an alchemist. I probably need her close to 30. I could, wait, that's off me. No, that's off her. Uh, we'll see how much leather I can get. I've been saving them. And thankfully. <laughs> thankfully I have. Pelts, pelts, pelts. Woo, 21 wolf pelts. Okay, I have enough. It's a fine day with you around. All right. Uh large leather tent, 16 leather strips and 22 leather. I need to get make 16 leather strips. I thought I had leather strips on me. I got 4. No, that creates 4. Okay, 1 2 3 Four. Now I need to make leather. Deer hide. Ooh, let's use a uh, saber cat, snow pelt, the big ones, cave bear pelt. You know what? I might as well turn it all into leather. Why would I want anything else? I have enough now. 
Oh, this is going to take me a while. I'm gonna have a hundred leather by the end. Okay. Because I can make... Oh, you make leather strips from leather, so... Really makes no sense to not turn it into leather. Alright. Large leather tent. I've got lots of leather. I should make some more leather strips. Alright. Wait. How many bedrolls do I have? Should have three. Large other tent bedroll, okay. There we go. Now I have my tent back. It's not like the old one was getting smelly or anything, so... Quite the waste. Put all that leather... Look at all these grand sold... Oh. Hmm. That's not good. I wasn't getting any grand souls. I got a bunch of graters, a couple commons. Hmm. Quite the waste, actually. Uh, hide lease. Anything to do with uh, smithing, I'll put back on the princess and bring it out when I need it. I still have all these gems to sell. You know what? I'm going to keep the diamond. I might be able to... I, In fact, I know I'll be able to make a gold diamond ring. So any diamonds I find, I'll keep. I can make the best... Um, best jewelry out of it. Alright. What do we have on me? Uh, Nord Mead. Tomato soup. Sorry. Uh, that's not enough. I need something with more. Like steak. Salmon steak. Yum. Okay, the first recruit. What is this? Oh. Hmm. I didn't pick up her journal this... One of my companions mentioned that there was a historian studying the Daedric artifacts. I'll have to go back at some point and pick up her journal. If it's still there. When I do. Um, missing merchant. No. Oh. I received a notice from the Jarl Stewart regarding a missing person at Traitor's Post. That's where I found it. I had a bounty for this. That's where those bandits were. The one with the big expensive ring. I found the missing person was already killed by a bandit. On her body was a journal that implies she sold a set of Daedric armor to a Khajiit merchant. She mentioned that if she ever wanted it back, the merchant would trade it for a valuable Khajiit ring. I don't know. Okay, so... Cave just this way, right? Is that the one with the bears? Should be. I would love to go back up to the top, but I haven't fulfilled what they asked me to do. I've been too focused on everything else around me. I'll go back. I'll get that Horn of Jurgen wind collar soon. Uh, did we pass soon? I don't have any plans to go right away, but within a few weeks' time, I suppose. Oh. Are you hunting bears? Hey, mind you... yourself. There's a vicious bear on the loose. Is there? You want help bringing it down? You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Oh, is it killing people? You know, Isran from the Dawnguard needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help? Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. <laughs> what could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires. Vampires? That 
Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the eight. Nine. All right, look. I'll consider it. I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. All right. Well, I'll help you kill this bear. It's just a bear, not kill dragons. And ancient vampires, which are even worse. Well, you know, well I may have been killing dragon, easy dragons, who knows. I just want to run up and hug the you go, you a bit of rhyming? Sure. Alright, well, we've got a party of like six of us. I'm sure we can kill the bear. Well, I'm sure we'd both rather be doing this than farming or mining. Lucian, sometimes you sound a little bit too, uh... Like you're from the city. That means to shut up. Goes into the cave, talking like that. I see the bear. It's awake. This is the bear? It's already dead? Unless it had a friend? I think we're done here. Gunmar. That's your bear. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes. He said to meet him at Ford, Fort Dawnguard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. When I was little, I his own little fortress. <laughs> well, like this. I guess I'll get to Never see what he's been up to. Things have changed. Time. I'll meet you there. Not that I need more leather, but... Kind of a waste to just leave it. And I definitely don't want more... Co uh, oh, whatever. Yeah. Didn't realize I was using uh, shock arrows. There we go. Don't wreck this new tent, Lucian. Or I will set you on fire. I can do it. Share some of your See? Oh, this is kind of fun. There's a tribe in the shop. Worship the giant ghost snake, which sometimes tries to kill you, and sometimes gives you life advice. And he showed me how to do that years ago. Many thanks. It doesn't help starting campfires because, like I said, it just blows everything away. And everybody's mad at you. Well, ooh. 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 Okay, I it's too close to town. Oh, there goes that. It's gonna go over the falls. I'm not following that down. Alright, that is one recruit down. And maybe I'll be able to leave him in peace for a while while I go take care of other business like dealing with the dragons or the civil in the civil war. <sighs> Soren Gerard. Somebody that studies Dwemer uh artifacts? Or did he have automatons or something? I don't know. But if we head west This is a long trip. Hmm. A long trip. We can take the boat from Iverstead over to the outskirts of Riften. I don't want to go inside there right now until Mercer's dealt with them. And, um, why is... Remove the mark. And then we can take a carriage from Riften. I guess we can go maybe to... Hmm. Maybe we can take it to Dragon Bridge. And then go west. Huh. I like carriage rides. After riding so much around everywhere, it's nice to let somebody else deal with it. Plus, they usually uh, are knowledgeable about the land, have their own stories to tell. Kind of enjoyable. Frost River. Miko's Shack. 
We have to look for that ghost, though. Maybe on the way... Uh, hmm. Well, I think that's a good plan. Let's just take the boat and then the carriage. One day soon, I will return to High Hrothgar with the horn of Jurgen Windcaller in hand. And then maybe they'll teach me another shout. But for now, we're going to sleep. I'm going to rest here at the inn. And my adventure will continue in the morning. <laughs>